From the North Bay Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by North Bay Bank. Want a North Bay Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that. Now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. North Bay Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Conway's Jeff Locke took his first loss of the new season as a Pittsburgh Pirate pitcher yesterday in Los Angeles as his Pirates fell to the L.A. Dodgers 6-2. The Dodgers swept all three games of the weekend series. Locke allowed four runs over six innings of work, giving up eight hits while walking one and striking out three. His Pirates managed to get only eight hits through the series, but Locke did have a brief early lead yesterday, courtesy of Andrew McCutcheon, who homered to put the Bucks up 2-0. That lead was soon erased, however, lasting only until the Dodgers' fourth batter when Adrian Gonzalez singled in two runs. Pirates manager Clint Hurdle tells MajorLeagueBaseball.com's Tom Singer, it's painful to see a rare lead disappear so quickly. You throw a punch, go two up, says Hurdle, and the next thing you know, you're even again. That's sport. Nobody felt worse than Locke. He battled, he bent, didn't really break. Locke told Singer, quote, the first inning was rough. I had to battle through it, and it worked better for me as I went along. Hurdle said, quote, there's a lot for Locke to take away from this and learn from the experience. He needs to get ahead more. He got into some deep counts. The fastball command and mix of pitches were better in his last two outings of spring training. The state Senate isn't wasting any time getting to work on a budget for New Hampshire for the two years beginning in July. The Senate Finance Committee today will hear from House counterparts on how they put together their $11 billion spending plan. The House passed its version of the budget Wednesday, and House Finance Committee members will talk about what changes they made to the budget recommended by Governor Maggie Hassan in February. The key difference between the two chambers is what revenues they use to pay for spending. The Senate and Hassan support legalizing a casino to raise money. The House has never approved a casino bill. The Senate votes on its plan in early June, and then the two chambers will meet to negotiate a compromise. In Maine news, workers at a group of Maine medical marijuana dispensaries are protesting working conditions at the dispensaries. The Portland Press Herald reports about 25 people rallied Saturday in Portland in protest of Wellness Connection of Maine, the state's largest medical marijuana dispensary group, with facilities in Portland, Brewer, Thomaston, and Hallowell. In sports, WMUR reports thousands of people turned out at Cannon Mountain Saturday for Bodie Fest, hosted by Olympic skiing champ and Franconia native Bodie Miller. Portland Sea Dogs took the field yesterday afternoon and despite getting four homers, dropped the game 9-7 to the Trenton Thunder in Portland. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats got a 6-5 win over the Reading Phillies yesterday afternoon in Manchester. The Portland Pirates Lost four to the Springfield Falcons yesterday afternoon. And the Manchester Monarchs remain in third place in the Atlantic Division after getting a 4-3 overtime win against the Worcester Sharks yesterday afternoon in Massachusetts. Brianna Stewart scored 29 to help UConn beat Notre Dame 83-65 last night to advance to the NCAA championship game. Helped by the return of Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, the Celtics beat the Washington Wizards 107-96 last night. And the Red Sox roughed up Cy Young winner R.A. Dickey in yesterday's 13-0 win over the Toronto Blue Jays. Will Middlebrooks hit three homers, and Mike Napoli added a two-run shot. Jacoby Ellsbury and Daniel Nava also went deep as the Sox connected for six homers. In the weather today, mostly sunny, highs in the upper 50s, northwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy in the evening tonight, then showers after midnight. Lows in the upper 30s, around 40 in southern Carroll County with light winds. And showers on Tuesday, highs in the upper 50s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.